Shalom. All praises, glory, and honor is due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kwadash. <coughs> Double honors. The apostles, bishops, and elders, elders, teachers, and great, a great Muslim, and the like minded men who may not be directly part of great Muslim, but are pushing the same doctrine. Given to the apostles, uh, apostles from Apostle Tahar, Gabal, Raka, uh, Ramlab, from all the elders and teachers of One West, um, to all the elders and teachers of One West, um, Salakia, so, so like, Great Millstone, f initially from One West, um, and through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, given to the elder Abba Bibbins. Bibbins. <clears throat> so, salutations to the elect men and children of the house of David, as by Afdawada, who are predestined to be saved in these last days. And that's the house of David, um, who will come from the, tri the tribes of Yasharala. Yeah, so um, when Yahweh returns, he will save his elect, who are um, of the nation of Israel, but the elect of the nation of um, Yasharala, who will be um, the new Jerusalem, will come down after the destruction um, of Yahweh um, 144,000, including King David and the Twelve, the true rulership and governance of this um, world, yeah, which is Yahweh inheritance. So, with that said, I'm just going to go into a um, piece of information relating to the times we're living in, um, as I usually do. So I'm going to go straight to the point. I'm going to get to straight to the scriptures, like yeah. Um, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1, the point I want to make is in 3. Remember now that thy creator, Yahweh, through Yahweh Shai, yeah, read um, Colossians, first chapter in that, um, and get an understanding of what happened in, in, the, in the beginning. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so Yahweh gave Yahweh Shai the blueprint to create the earth, um, what we see. Um, and heavens with the with the angels and the space and everything with the angels, you know. So that's a quick understanding of that with Genesis, and then you read Colossians to prove that point. First chapter. So it's like a back to the point. Remember now, thy Creator, in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. So seek ye the Lord, Lord, will I get that? You know, because the bad times, the evil days. Let me go into evil days. <clears throat> Bad times. My, my internet's playing up a little bit, so it might not get to it straight away, but we have so evil. So, um, bad, bad, disagreeable, malignant unpleasant times, pain, misery. And these are the times we're coming into, yeah? And only the elect will be saved out of it. They will not receive the karagma, which is the physical MOTB, which is the mark of the beast, which you find in Revelation um, 13th chapter, 16th, 17th verse, and that to the 18th as well, but um, 16th, 17th verse. He causeth all, both small and great, rich or poor, to receive the mark in his right hand, or his forehead, you know? So it might... <clears throat> so we won't be able to buy or sell without that mark and only the elect will be saved from taking that mark um, the punishment is will be death simple as that Revelation 14th goes into it Revelation 16th and 19th as well <clears throat> yeah I think also 20 verse 20 but um, so lucky if I'm wrong on that but is it, it is a physical mark uh, that will be implanting it's uh, about the size of a grain of rice, but, you know. Gonna mention it because it's a prophecy, big, massive prophecy that's um, about to be implemented, you know. Soon, whether it's a month, two, three, a year, whatever, it's going to be implemented. So, back to this evil, disagreeable, malignant, evil, pain, misery, displeasing, yeah. Um, bad, worse than worst, sad, unhappy, bad times basically, yeah. Evil, distress, misery, injury, calamity, calamitous times. So we've got to seek the Lord, Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, 
before these days come upon us. Because we've been given an opportunity to, you know, repent daily. Um, so that's what we do. Because at the end of the day, we're in sinful flesh. And we cannot be perfect. Simple as that. Not on this side. No, we're, we're, we seek the graces and mercy of Yahweh by Shemarashai. By praying and well, I should do more, a lot more fasting as well. So, <clears throat> anyway, let me get back to the scriptures. Um, While the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. You know, so seek the Lord, Lord's will, I will get them. <clears throat> Isaiah 55. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, because that time is going to come when the nuke go. And um, there's going to be a cloud of dust everywhere as well. But also, you know, um, But while you know, it goes into the wisdom as well, the wisdom and knowledge of um, this word um, being taken away before the destruction. Because there will be a time when the prophets are not on the street. Amos 8 and 11. Yeah? Um, um, and people will be seeking the truth, but they won't be able to find the light. Simple as that, right? <clears throat> um, nor the clouds return after the rain. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, you know, this when the um, that would be the days when the the so called elites uh, are panicking, which we're already panicking because they know what's coming. But they, you know, they're so such full of pride and um, arrogance that they do believe that they're going to defeat your how defeat your how shy when he returns, which is not going to be the case. He's going to defeat them within one hour. You know, without hand, you go to Reve um, Revelation eighteen for that chapter, and. Um, uh, um, <clears throat> the war in heaven, Revelation 12, and second address 13th chapter really goes into detail uh, um, of what's, what's going to occur when Yahweh Shai returns with the chariots. So they're trembling and they're panicking. This is why they just um, coming out, the tongues are falling upon themselves, Psalm 64, chapter and 8, verse, because they just don't care anymore because they're going to go for it and eventually they're going to be like that dragon. Revelation 13th chapter, and just go all out on the people. Again, Revelation 12 and 12 says, The devil shall come, that rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell therein. The devil shall come down on you, having great wrath, because he knows he have but a short time. I'm paraphrasing. But yeah, I mean, these are the times we're living in. <clears throat> the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves. And the grinders cease, that means there's going to be no work. And what we're seeing um, is the beginning of um, no work for people, you know, unless you comply. It, eventually, what is it? Is it, it the Hegelian dialectic, problem, reaction, solution? Right now, they are um, trying to create the problem by bringing down the financial system. Then the people are going to react, panic, as they did, with, you know, when the run on banks, for example. Or a, a great example is that, um, see, you know, C, C Diddy, you know what I'm saying? C Diddy 19. <laughs> people panicked and they came up with a solution. But what's that solution doing to people now? You know, um, a lot of people are dropping suddenly. So if you can understand the code, All right? So that's what they do. They trick you, corner you, give you a solution. It's more than likely going to kill you. That's the, this is this is the, the this is the this wiles of the devil, the wiles of Esau Edom, the the so called white man. Yeah. <clears throat> the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out of the windows be dark and say there's gonna be no hope. No hope for the people. They're gonna see eventually that uh, the system's coming to a to a to a stop, to a cease, and there's gonna be no jobs. The economy is gonna be collapsed um they're gonna have no savings um they will have nothing and be happy as mr klaus schwab says and that's when they'll bring out the um solution you know either before or during which is going to be the cbdc which is the central bank digital currency and then eventually the mot to the b which is the microchip because all roads lead to the microchip revelation 13 chapter it will happen 16th verse, 17th verse, it will happen. There's no two ways about that. Uh, the Lord's words do not return unto him void. 
and the door shall be shut in the streets, and the sound of the grinding is low, and, the, and he shall rise up in the, with the voice of the birds. People will be getting up early in the morning, and there will be no work for them. And all the daughters of the music shall be brought low. Are you not living in those times? You know, where there's... Oh, so like you can't miss it. Well, I have to go find it now. There we are. Reading this in Natural News. <clears throat> so we'll get to it. Like I said, my internet's playing up a bit. So um, I might just have to go to the headlines of it. And it's playing a bit slow. But here we are. Um, generally, yeah, I'll read the headlines. I'll put this in the description box if I can. Lord Flynn. Shutting down, General Motors offers buyout to 35,000 work, salaried workers in, Mich in Michigan in an attempt to reach $2 billion in cost savings. So what they're trying to do is going to pay off people who are on salaries um, um, to, to reduce their costs. And that's what a lot of businesses are doing because they are struggling. Yeah, I'm going to have to put this in the description box. Um, also, it's another story I had. What's this? Lord's will this have come up? Got it. <clears throat> Meta, which is obviously Facebook owner, lays off, um, this was 23 hours ago, Facebook owner to cut 10,000 staff. Meta, which owns Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, has announced plans to cut 10,000 jobs. And this is happening all over the um tech sector um the article that i had previously re really did go into it the amount of companies that are that are, um are getting rid of workers i'm trying no it's not going to load up yeah i'm gonna have to put this one in the description box but this is where we're at you see because Esau Eden's kingdom is coming to an end. For Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. First I'll get this. What is <clears throat> Fourteen to I think. Yeah, fifteen. Um, Sasuk 14, the Lord, Yahweh, have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. <laughs> Do I even need to go into what this, how perverse this place is? Every day you see in the uh, Transformers on television, if you know what I mean by that. You know, um, it's just it's just diabolical. It's just terrible, this place. Is, you vex your spirit every single day, what, what, what we see um, put in our faces. We went to, I watched a video from Bible Defenders today about um, America, um, <clears throat> the USA, Babylon the Great, uh, influencing Uganda into accepting um, the other people's rights, if you know what I'm saying, yeah, which is in Leviticus 20th chapter. Um, which is, you know, it's just it's an abomination. We just, it's, it's wax, this place is waxing worse and worse. Yeah. So. The Lord have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken mass man staggereth, staggereth in his vomit. Um, this, uh, Babylon the Great, especially America, and its influences, um, as explained in Revelation 11 and 8, is spiritual Sodom in Egypt. Yeah, and there's no new thing under the sun. You know, the scriptures are in, are in code. Simple as that. I'm going to put it that way, keep it quite simple. Yeah, and you have to have the spirit of Yahabash Mioshai and, and teachers, teachers definitely, or prophets of Yahabash Mioshai to teach you and, and understand, um, to to be able to understand it. So um, it's not it's not straightforward like that. It's the Holy Spirit, Yahabash Mioshai, that gives you Rakakodash. So it's like, yeah, that gives you the understanding. Um, so just pray to Yahabash Mioshai. And all things will be revealed in time if it's so to be. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt which the head, tail, brush, or 
rush me do so basically this is uh, wow wow it's heavy scriptures are amazing you know yeah so you know what we're going to do is just um you see that this is all you know right whatever the elites are doing is because of this Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man learn on Sundays? And we were Proverbs 21. And one really does um, go into it. The king's heart, the leader's king's heart, is in the hand of the Lord. Yeah? It's in the hand of Yahweh. As the rivers of water, he turneth it with her, so ever he will. So there's no free will, people. Yeah? Whatever is happening is prophet, um, is ordained by Yahweh. Simple as that. Yeah? Simple as that. So, what do we do? <clears throat> I don't think that um, the, the, these job losses are going to be limited to the tech sector or to, to, to big business or whatever. You know, we're all going to be challenged. You know, there's going to be a time of temptation, temptation and tribulation. That, that we're all going to have to face, simple as that, because it's a test. You know, um, time of Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah thirteen seven goes into it. Um, Daniel twelve and one goes into it. You know, time like never before. You know, um, so we have to keep the word of Yahweh by Shemayashai's patience. Simple as, yeah. <clears throat> so what do we do? Isaiah fifty five and six. Seek ye the Lord Yahweh. While he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. Yeah, and he's speaking for his prophets. You know, he is 100%. 100%. We'll find all of these things. Um, Revelation 3 and 10 Because thou hast kept the word of my patience I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation And that's coming soon The time of temptation like never before Which shall come upon the, all the world To try them that dwell upon the earth These words are written in red And these are words of Yahweh Shai um, so Yeah so What more can I say But yeah what we're seeing is the beginning of Um Beginning of sorrows, <laughs> simple as, with it be on the, uh, again, what Yahweh I said in Matthew 24th chapter, 6th verse down to the 8th verse, the beginning of sorrows, um, wars, rumors of wars, famines, pestilences, and it all takes time to build up, little by little, the judgment shall come. So, you know, um, I'm going to play this video to end it off with. Um, I'm going to say, Shalom to the elect, and the hopeful elect, I'll say. Yeah, Shalom. I'm going to end it off of this video here. To remind people. Ten thousand more jobs. This is the second round of the mass layoffs that the tech giant has announced. These layoffs come as tech industries brace for an economic downturn due to regional and global factors. More details in our next report. Take a look. Meta Platforms announced Tuesday that it will axe 10,000 more jobs, its second round of mass layoffs, as the tech industry braces for a deep economic downturn. The job cuts, which come after the company slashed 11... Shalom to the elect, shalom from the hopeful elect, shalom.